to create a powerful social uh, media brand perception. So if you are uh, joining live with me, let me know where you're joining from. And if you're watching the replay, uh, go ahead and do the same. So hey, Instagram, hey, Facebook. So we're simulcasting today. So uh, for, for a lot of people, they think that, you know, social media is sort of like an option or it's not that important when it comes to building, when it comes to building your brand. And I just want to let everybody know that when you think about your social media platforms, you should really see those as powerful business tools first and foremost. They're a powerful business tool. Your Instagram is a powerful business tool. Your Facebook is a powerful business tool. It's, it's the same uh, idea as if somebody gave you, you know, prime real estate, you know, and like, the, you know, most trafficked uh, location in your town and said, here, you can lease this space for free, right? So your Instagram costs you nothing. Uh, hey, Pearl, how are you, my love? Your Instagram costs you nothing. Your Facebook costs you nothing. And sometimes, you know, you've heard the saying before, if you don't pay for something, you don't know the value of it. And so you just kind of treat it sort of willy-nilly. But one of the big things that you must really, really consider. If you're building a brand and you're trying to reach and connect with your people, you have to show up very powerfully because as David Ogilvy likes to say, or used to say, rest his soul, you know, the consumer is not a moron. And they're not just going to buy your stuff because you say, buy my stuff, right? You have to show up and demonstrate value in one way that you do that is through your social media platforms. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you actually do that. So number one, you want to focus in on what are the key platforms that you are going to be intentional about making sure that you have a presence. So uh, if it's Facebook, if it's Instagram, if it's your Twitter, if it's your LinkedIn, if it's your YouTube, your Pinterest, whatever it is going to be for you, you want to make sure that you're intentional about that. So Think about that right now. What platforms are going to be the key ones for you? And you want to make sure that you have at least, gosh, the minimum should really be two, but at least two to three, right? We talk about having like a multi-platform uh, strategy. Why? Because not everybody who you're connected with on your Facebook, you're actually connected to on your Instagram or your LinkedIn and your Twitter, so on and so forth. So you want to make sure, number one, that you're intentional about the platforms that you're going to be showing up. And when I say show up, I mean show up consistently, not once in a while. I was talking with a client the other day, and I was showing them their social media activity because one of the things that I use as part of my business is a tool that allows you to track and see how your uh, activity has been trending from month to month, day to day, week to week, how the engagement has been trending. And that's the one thing you want to make sure that not only are you you're active, right? So your visibility is there, it's consistent, so you have continuous presence, but that people are actually engaging with you, that you're providing value in such a way that people want to connect with you, they want to learn from you. And I always say, just show up and teach what you know, and you will be surprised, you know, even some, some of the simplest things. Like, you know, here I am just talking to you specifically now about your social brand perception. This is not a 10-part course, right? I'm gonna be on here for probably less than 10 minutes. But you show up and you teach what you know because that's how you build your reputation. You deliver value, you build your reputation. So number one, multi-channel strategy. Which of the two, three? So Pearl, uh, DX, let me know uh, over on Instagram. Which platforms for your brand are you going to say, okay, I'm going to build my brand consistently on these three? Right, so for me it's Facebook, it's Instagram, it's LinkedIn, it's my YouTube channel, right, and Twitter to some to some degree. But my Facebook and my LinkedIn for sure, and Instagram. Those those are like my main three. Of course, then you have other platforms that you use when you think about you know your website, your blog, etc. So building a brand requires that you're expressing your brand in multiple uh, ways. We talk about a 3D brand expression. It's not just one place. You can't just have a website and say that you built a brand. It doesn't work that way because Here's one thing you want to think about. There's a recent uh, Microsoft study that says it's six to 20 touches now to have somebody connect with you and really make a buying decision. Six to 20 touches. So you have to really be intentional about showing up. Okay, making sense? So if you think about how you build this powerful perception, right? 
if we use the analogy and the, the, the philosophy that the consumer is not a moron, they're discerning, right? They can make decisions. Then you have to show up with value. How are you going to show up with value? What is it that you can do consistently to demonstrate value? Number one, if you have client results, you know, so let's just say you are a hairstylist and you do amazing uh, transformations, amazing, amazing styles, then you should be showing your before and after. And then in fact, actually coming on and explaining what the process was, what you did, how did you get the client's hair from, you know, dark brown to platinum blonde? You know, what's the process? Was it, you know, one sitting or did you do that gradually over time? Because then as you start to explain and you talk about the process, people then begin to understand that you know what you're talking about, right? Not only do you have social proof because you have the pictures, but then here you come teaching about that, right? Again, teach what you know. How did you get from this stage to that? Very important. So showing up and teaching is one way that you can build a powerful uh, brand perception because people, again, want to make good buying decisions and nobody wants to feel like they've been tricked or hoodwinked. So on your social platform, so on your Instagram, you do a post that shows your before and after. You get on like I am on, on IGTV right now and you talk about it. It could be a quick little thing, you know, how to go from dark brown to platinum blonde without, you know, your hair falling off and you, you explain what that process is. Let me know if that's making sense for you. These are some very simple things, but they're so profound. And one of the reasons why so few people really have powerful standout brands is because we just kind of take this, oh, I don't feel like doing it today kind of attitude. I literally just came back from a meeting um, at one of our local um, studios where we're getting ready to build out the production for the Savvy Branders TV. So stay tuned for, for that. Uh, those episodes are coming out. But I came back and I was like, oh, I haven't had lunch all day or I haven't eaten anything all day. And I could just say, I'm hungry. I'm just going to go uh, eat and uh, relax. But I made a commitment and I talk about this all the time. I'm always going to share this. So when I read and I, I try to read tons of books in the book, Think and Grow Rich for Women, one of the things they talk about is to be very specific about the amount of money that you want by when you want that money, and then what are you willing to do in exchange to get that money? One of the things I said I would do was come on and do a live Monday through Friday, every single day, doesn't matter what I'm, what I'm talking about or what I'm training on, but that commitment and that honoring, honoring myself is how you do that. True story, I did one Facebook Live and uh, netted $22,000 from one client paying into different programs. Now, how do you do that when this person who became a client I haven't physically met, but it's that my social media brand perception is such that when they go onto my channels, when they look at my videos, when they look at the content, when they go to my LinkedIn and see the articles that I write, that my social media brand is already speaking for me, right? You, you've heard the saying, you know, your, your reputation precedes you. That because of all of the content that I have curated and put on my social platforms, it's very telling that I know all things branding, right? And that you can feel good in a buying decision from me. If, if I didn't have any of that, there's no way that I'd be able to get somebody who's never met me in person to sign up and pay thousands of dollars to work with me. It just won't happen. Your reputation has to be there and people have to be able to see that. So I want you to do an audit. I want you to, if you're on Facebook with me now, I want you to go look at your Facebook. Do you have a business page? Go look at that. Look at what you're posting on your Instagram. Look at your LinkedIn. Have you published any articles? Are you doing anything that is, you know, sort of like a series or a topic on, you know, how to work with natural hair? On, do you have that series on your YouTube channel? Just take a look. Just do an audit, social media audit. What is it saying? What are you talking about and are people engaging with that? Because if you can look at your social media and say, yes, I would hire this person, then wonderful. But if you really just from a, a place of honesty, look at it and go, yeah, if it wasn't me, I don't know if I would, I would hire me. Because most of the content, it's just random willy-nilly stuff. People can't get a sense of who you are. Is your profile even you know, completely uh, pulled together? So for example, on LinkedIn, if you have a LinkedIn profile and you have that blue background, uh, your profile is definitely not all-star. That, that cover photo is a place that I call that prime real estate where you should absolutely be using that image to convey 
powerfully about your brain. If you want to go to my uh, LinkedIn to take an example, feel free to do that. It's, you know, Faith James. And the other thing then to think about is the frequency with which you show up. Are you showing up with the content in multiple places? So in our social branding boot camp this morning, one of the things I talked to the clients about is you can take one piece of content and turn it into seven, eight, nine, ten different pieces of content to use across your platform. So don't feel like you get overwhelmed. Uh, hey, Jagger, don't feel like you're, you feel overwhelmed and you can't do it and you just kind of get stuck and we call it analysis paralysis. So for example, when I generate content, I, I primarily generate content for my newsletter. So this week I sent out uh, a piece of content about why branding matters. So that content I then turned into a blog post on my website. I then wrote an article, so basically using a lot of the same content on my LinkedIn profile. I then shared that link to my Twitter page. I did a Facebook Live video on why branding matters, and I'm going to be uploading that Facebook Live video to my YouTube channel. So I just showed you how just one piece of content you can use across all of your platforms, and then as people start to visit your different social media platforms, they're kind of really just getting a full sense that, wow, this person is really out there, they're visible, I'm seeing them, and are you able to get from what you're writing that you, that you know the subject matter? So very important. So I want you, number one, do that audit. Think about your brand because this is the most important thing you've got. Your brand is your number one asset because I'm telling you, if there's a recession that comes, if you haven't built a brand, you haven't built a personal brand, then you just become a commodity. And then it just, anything goes. You know, when you think about building a brand, a brand helps you become recession proof. It's no different than, in fact, in, in the meeting I had uh, earlier today, one of the um, executives, he said, it's no different than why, like, Ralph Lauren, a Ralph Lauren shirt, which is made of 100% cotton, can be $110 in a Ralph Lauren store. Meanwhile, the same cotton shirt at Walmart is, like, $11. And he made a really, really great point. Shout out to Joel for this awesome analogy. He said, you know, Ralph Lauren doesn't have, like, his own curated cotton fields that's, like, made of, like, some special, you know, gold-laden cotton. It's the same, cotton is cotton, it's the same cotton, but because that Ralph Lauren brand is built in such a way that people understand that the quality and the care that goes into the construction and the fabrication and that you have the design uh, aesthetics and how it fits and everything else that kind of goes into building a brand, then people will absolutely, right, people will absolutely pay more. It's, it's cotton, it's 100% cotton, think about that. Think about that. And if you put yourself in that situation, would you want to be in the position of Ralph Lauren, let's say, where somebody's going to pay you $110 for something where somebody else only can command $11? It's the same thing. So your social media, why stress that so much? Because 40% of consumers will go to your social media platforms and make a decision on whether they want to buy from you or not. One of my clients this morning was sharing that. She's in event, event planning. Shout out to Melody. And she shared the story about this company, a uh, large company, who uh, puts on large corporate events. They had an event that they had done, you know, a number of years in uh, Barcelona. Now they wanted to move it to the South Florida market. And they went online, looked her up, and con uh, connected with her. And now they're in discussions for her to help to produce this, this big amazing event where they're like, we don't have, there are no limits on the budget. Here's what we've done last year. This is what we want to do. And can you help us do that? So big shout out to Melody because I'm telling you, I always say you never know the time nor the hour. You don't know when somebody is going to be looking for your services. There's no, you know, um, notification that says, oh, listen, Prime Plan is about to call you in two days. Get your brand ready. No, I always say you've got to build a stay ready brand, not a brand where you're like, oh my gosh, now I got to get ready. You have to stay ready because you don't know when someone's going to come across your profile and say, hey, I would like to, uh, to talk to you about your services. So do your audit. What is your social media uh, brand saying? Go across the platforms, make a decision on which, you know, as I said, two to three platforms you are going to commit 
to building your brand on. Hey Sue, thanks for joining. Hey Kimberly, good to see you. Which two to three platforms you're going to build your brand on and show up consistently. Show up where, imagine if somebody said, yeah, I'm an expert at you know, doing real estate and they've only listed one home. Would you believe that? Even if they said it, would you believe that? Or are you going to be looking for a listing sheet that goes a mile long? That last year they were in the President's Club for the most you know, sales or listing um, appointments made. You're going to be looking for the social proof. Again, the consumer's not a moron. So you cannot expect to build a brand, build a business, that's going to be able to fuel your economic engine, to support your family if you don't do the work and show up. I always talk about this. If you work for a company and the CEO said to you, yes, Friday at 3, I need you to uh, do a briefing on what are the best ways for 2020 for people to, to get healthy. And you say, you know, I just, I just don't feel like it. I'm just not in the mood right now. What do you think that CEO would do? That CEO would fire you. But yet every single time when we say the same thing to ourselves, you know, because remember, hashtag you are the CEO of you. Every single time you say, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm busy. And you're basically saying to the CEO of you, I don't feel like it. And that same CEO is going to fire you, which basically means your business is going to fire you, your brand is going to fire you, you're not going to hit your goals, you're not going to be as successful as you truly should be. Because listen, I truly believe, you know, we all have greatness in us. It's like you can't let your current perception of your reality determine your potential. Let me say that again. Don't let the current perception of your reality determine your potential. We all have greatness in us. It's just for you to get aligned with that potential and do the work. You know, like Ayala Vance always says, you must do your work. Building your social brand, building your brand in general, it's not easy. It's not a cakewalk. It takes efforting. It takes work. I'm never going to tell you it's just like, oh, click here, journal here, and you're all set. It doesn't work that way because the consumer is not a moron. They're going to want to see your brand in action. What are you doing? What results do you have? So when I talk about social, social branding, there was a woman, Linda, who's now a client of mine, never met her before. She showed up for branding over lunch. I talked about what I was training on uh, during the session. And then at the end, I invited her to join the social branding bootcamp, which she did. And literally, she had nothing. She, her cover photo for her Facebook uh, cover page was black. She had a picture with like a bunch of people and you couldn't tell it was nothing. It was, it was like a vacant home. Her LinkedIn was even more vacant, like literally nothing. And just by participating in the six week social branding bootcamp, she's now all star. I've got, I've got her writing articles, people that she haven't, she hadn't connected with in years are like commenting on her thing and saying, Oh my gosh, this is a great, wonderful article. Keep it going. So that's what I do for you. I get your brand from invisible, just like nobody's seeing it to all star and now people are engaging and the brand engagement is key. I mean, I have the, um, the stats that I can show where they were before they started working with me and after the six week program, what their brand is doing on social media. And if you have never had somebody pay you $22,000 off of social media, then I'm going to invite you to enroll in the next upcoming social branding bootcamp. The next one is uh, we kick off on Monday, so there's still time. All you have to do is put $97 down. Think about that. Where in the world would you get a Fortune 500 brand influencer to even talk to you for $97? doesn't exist. And then we make payment arrangements for you. Like, it, I can't make it any more flex. Like, it's not like it's three payments of what, it's like, what's going to work for you after you pay the $97? And because I'm the CEO of me, I can make the decision. I can make it happen. I don't need to go talk to anybody. But I just want to work with people who are serious, who are ready, who really want to go from, oh, I'm making all these excuses to saying, you know what, now I'm ready. You know, especially, you know, holiday season is coming on. Do you have a brand that needs to sell some stuff during this buying season? You need to get your social brand ready. Please understand, trust, and believe. People are looking at your website. They're looking at your LinkedIn. They're looking at your Instagram. They're looking at your Twitter. They're looking at your IG. They're looking at your Pinterest. They're looking at everything to see, do I give this person my money or that person my money? 
And unless you don't need any more clients, and obviously this is not for you, but if it's you, I'm going to tell you, go to my website, uh, faithjames.com. When you go to the website, right on the very top navigation, you will see the link that says Six Week Social Branding Bootcamp. Go ahead and click that. Get in for $97. If you, for whatever reason, uh, can't get in from Monday, the next cycle will be November 11th. So we're running these every six weeks just because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm serving as many people as I can because the transformation is undeniable. The value that you get, the full program is $1,997. $1, let me say that. But you put $97 down and you get in and you do the work. You can make your payments even outside of the program. I mean, I have clients now who are going to be paying me well past the six week, but that's not the point for me. I want to just make sure I get people in who really want to do the work, who want to really stand out and understand that with 3.48 billion people active on social media, you haven't tapped your market. There are plenty of people out there who need to know what it is that you do. There are plenty of people out there who you should be serving, but you have to just honor your calling. You just have to say, you know what, I'm ready to step up and stand up. So if that's you, get in touch with me. You can uh, DM me on Instagram. You can send me a message here on Facebook. You can email me at faith at faithjames.com. Just go to the website and, and, and get in. If you're serious and you really want to do this, I'm here to help you. These are live. These are live coaching calls. So it's not I'm, I'm not sending you to a course where you have to read and watch video and do it on your own. I'm doing it for you. I'm literally on Zoom with you. You're sharing your screen, and I'm telling you what to write, and I'm telling you what to click, and I'm telling you what to push. It can't be any easier. So if you want to amp up your social media and build a powerful reputation so that somebody looks at that and goes, wow, yeah, I definitely want to work with this person, then come join us uh, in the program. So with that, any questions, go ahead and message. Hey, Jessica, thanks for joining in on, on Instagram. See, uh, see everybody coming on Instagram. That's awesome. I'm going to be trying to be doing these streaming at the same time. See, this is what I do. I'm all about, like, what are the ways that I can simplify? Because, like I said, building your brand takes time. So right now I'm going live on my Facebook business page, but I'm also simulcasting on my phone going live on Instagram because, you know, it's just about reaching the people. It's just about getting your message out there. And if I don't do the work that I know I'm supposed to do and serve the people that I'm supposed to serve, then, then you know, I haven't, I haven't answered my calling. And, and that's for sure not something that I want to be attached to. So I'm doing this to get everybody um, who's ready, who wants to, who wants to build a brand, uh, your social brand in particular, and see where your engagement levels are because the engagement is key. Because here's one of the key things I'm going to leave you with. Do you know what posts, what posts in terms of the content is really helping you win on social media? Because you could just be posting the same old, same old, and you're not getting that engagement. Are you getting the amplification, meaning other people are then taking your content and sharing it? Have you had people sharing your stuff? That's how you know your brand reputation is built to the point that they're like, oh, yeah, other people need to hear about this. I can help you do that. So go to faithjames.com, click on the social media boot camp link. It's $97 down payment you get in then you and I will connect you tell me what payment options work for you and we will get going so hopefully I'll see you guys in the in the class on Monday and if not just know that the next uh, cycle goes uh, November 11th all right hope that helps uh, message me send me any comments hey Jessica my love I see you I see you I've just been uh, thinking about you so yeah let's let's get this thing going all right so have a good uh, Friday evening and I'll talk to you guys soon bye